A very good morning, amigos, from somewhere in Mexico City that we have never been. Bosque de Tlalpan. Tlalpan. <laughs> See that? See that? Three times fast. <laughs> now, before we get started today, today's grand adventure is sponsored by our patrons of the day, JC Gutierrez and Eric Noak. Thank you both so much, JC and Eric, for sponsoring this video. Now, for those of you that don't know why we mention a name or two every day, <laughs> um, we are 100% proudly community <laughs> sponsored, which means that our only sources of income come from Patreon and then also um, ad revenue from YouTube, which mm. means that our videos can be directed and sort of chosen and geared, I guess, in the right direction by you guys. We don't rely on brand sponsorships, any corporation, corporate deals or anything like that. If you'd like to learn more about how you can help support our efforts to showcase Mexico to the world, head to patreon.com slash kinetic kinens. Now. Now. It's time explore. to explore. Whoa. Do not mess with the people in Bosque de Tlalpan. They're about to. There's like karate at the front, exercise classes. I'm just trying to digest my chilaquiles. <laughs> <laughs> now, Bosque de Tlalpan is in the very south, southern part of the city, uh, right off of Insurgentes, uh, just south of Unam, actually. It is around 300 acres, I believe. So not obviously, it's not quite as big as like uh, Desierto, Desierto de, los, de los Leones, but uh -huh. it's a lot closer. Very wooded, it's a national park, it's protected hilly. area. Very hilly, and uh, just another, we found another good escape from the busyness of the city. Why does it seem like we're always trying to escape the city that we live in? <laughs> we make oh. no sense. is this climb? Every path you choose is always uphill. <laughs> At least the paths Every we choose. Every Netflix show you choose is always bad. What? <laughs> no, the last two shows I chose on Netflix were super good. Alright, I'm choosing our routes for now on. <laughs> <laughs> Just the way back, that way it's downhill. Yeah. It is uh, beautiful through here. It's obviously foresty, bosque. <laughs> A little bit, but it's a little different. It it's is. more... It reminds me a lot of Chapultepec Part 3. Yes. Whereas it, it just let the natural foliage take over. But and it's actually kind of cool because there's all different sorts of plants. Tiny flowers, berries, trees. I would say Species. it's the Chapultepec of the South. Minus the feral dogs, so far. Hopefully, don't jinx us. We are choosing to get off the concrete path onto a more dirt path in which we will most probably get lost so everybody remember this spot and help us remind us where we got off that way we can when, uh, find, when you guys find our bones in this footage you know where we went wrong <laughs> <laughs> summit. <laughs> we summited. We did it. And this afternoon in the warm sunshine, we deserve a respados. And not only that, but you deserve to get to watch us eat it. <laughs> uh, comment below if you've been following us since our our nuestros días in Vallarta. Vallarta? Vallarta? I can't speak. Puerto Vallarta. In, Port, in Puerto Vallarta. When we pretty much had respados 
todos los días. We really did. They were so good. The best raspados I've ever had. We've had raspados as well in Unam. Oh, Just another good. reason now we need to go back. Uh, last, this exact day, one week ago, we made a vow while getting lost through <laughs> Parque Nacional Bosque de Desierto de los Leones to spend, <laughs> spend more time outdoors, spend more time in nature. It's really our happy place and we're gonna try and do at least one outside thing a week and I don't know, Hillary has said earlier in the week that I'm pretty sure like if we never filmed inside again, I think that would be okay. I mean, so whether it's just walking around neighborhoods, I mean, walking around parks. are found on the street, so we should be good for life. There's really no reason we need to film inside. I'm sure. Ever go inside. We, we need to even go inside. We could just, we could just live out here. Yeah. The, the crazy thing is in a city of 20 million people. Until we see bugs. <laughs> living in Mexico City, a city of 20 million people, we can easily do that. We can easily, I mean, the weather's always perfect. There's plenty of parks. We're only a few yeah. hours away from pretty much everything in the entire dang country. Yeah, it does seem like for a city so huge and full of concrete, it does seem ironic that we spend so much of our time in nature. Just another reason that these dos Chilangos love Chilangolandia. <laughs> Whose bright idea was this? Oh, how is it always uphill? Let's go straight downhill. No, we gotta go uphill. Hill, hill, the hilly hill, hill. I'm gonna go downhill. We go uphill. This reminds me of the train tracks in. With the million Ohio. bees? Yep. Come on. Doing okay? Yeah. I got plenty of water for days. What the heck is that? <laughs> what is that? I got water for days. I'm carrying around six pounds of water on my back and you got that little agüita. Agüita chiquitita. <laughs> Salud. I'm allergic to uphills. <laughs> Last week we went to Desierto de los Leones and we both had jackets and we were glad we did because it was very, very lush, almost tropical, bear with me, because the trees are so dense and tall that I feel like the sun never made it down to human level. <laughs> <laughs> Here at Bosque Tlalpan, it's very different, very arid, dry, dusty. The sun is feels very, very intense. All the plants are very very thirsty so am i but it's interesting how different the two climates are for parks that are really really close together reporting live from bosque de tlalpan i'm hillary kennan cbs news 5. <laughs> Awesome. We have good views. It's like we came to a little lookout spot almost. A little deserted no man's land. It's a little deserted. There's some mountains back there. Got some parts of the city back here. Deserted house cabin right here. I hope it's deserted. I hope it's deserted. section of the park with Dori Locos, the chips and chicharrones, chicharrones preparados, all the food. This is my favorite part of the park. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose that is, uh, that is it. <laughs> yep. All those people working out, it's time for us to work on finding, uh, I almost said a michelada. 
<laughs> Why not? <laughs> Un resfado. Thank you so much, JC and Eric, our patrons of the day. And if you would like to learn more about how to support our work here in Mexico, again, the website is patreon.com slash kinetic kins. Now then, it's raspados, nap, work, nap, food. That sounds okay with me. Thank you we guys. Have, oh, was, go ahead. We are going somewhere new soon. Stay well, tuned. A lot of new places soon. In like two days, I think. By the time you see this, by the time you see this, it would have been a few places. We're a little bit behind, but... You guys let me know if you like Greg's mustache or not. A mustache you all. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Click the bell to get notified. Every time. We upload a new video, and we will see you... Manganita. Adios, amigos.